Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. Today's video takes us to Michigan, where we encounter a sovereign citizen again in the court of Judge Middleton. Now, this sovereign citizen has been here before when she was arraigned uh, for a traffic case. Uh, same old story, no driver's license, and all those BS beliefs. You've heard them all before. But now she's back for a preliminary hearing where the judge has assigned a defender, a public defender, for her case. But the question is, will she accept it? Probably not, but let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Good afternoon once again. Are you Rosalind Ray Keenan? Uh, this is file 23915FY. Ms. Keenan is charged with resisting instructing a police officer and driving suspended. Uh, that allegedly occurred in the village of White Pigeon on May 16th. Um, the defendant was arraigned on this. Yeah, and that arraignment was quite entertaining. In fact, I will leave a link above and in the description box below because, well, it was a shit show to say the least. She really showed her intelligence on this one. And uh, it was really funny that her uh, son was probably behind all that, too. We had some discussion, and I encouraged her to get an attorney to assist her with that, and she was not really in favor of that. But I said, well, let's appoint an attorney. You can discuss it with him and then determine how we want to proceed at that time. And I'm willing to bet that she's going to go pro se down into the pits of stupidity where she thinks that she knows better than anybody who went to college and became a lawyer. Ms. Keenan, resisting and obstructing a police officer is a felony. It's punishable by up to two years in prison and a fine of up to $2,000. The driving charge carries uh, two points, up to 93 days in jail and a fine of up to $500, and it requires that your license be further suspended. When we were here earlier, Mr. Marvin had made a, what I consider to be a very generous plea offer, but we weren't able to get to that point. And so the matter was set for a preliminary examination today. A preliminary examination is a hearing where it must be established in order to go forward that there's probable cause to believe a crime was committed and probable cause that you did it. So I'll defer to you, Mr. Bush. Where are we here today? Well, there's a, a number of issues for the court to hear. Um, Ms. Keenan is asking for a 30-day adjournment so she can review the discovery. Well, that's not the most unreasonable thing I've heard come from a sovereign citizen. But uh, I think it would just be more of a delay tactic anyway. But let's continue on. I mean, we let's hear out what the sovereign citizen wants. I, I believe she's been provided with most of the discovery, but th that is her request. There Mr. is a Mr. Marvin, other video? Uh, everything camera? that I have, she has. Uh, including video? Yes. Okay. I don't know. She may have. I have it. Okay. Put that way. There's a very short police report. And some audio visual evidence. All right. Ms. Keenan, is that true? You're going to ask to adjourn this matter 30 days? I was asking, uh, requesting that from him. Okay. Oh, well, I don't. I put it in writing in an email and asked a few things. But... In an email? Uh, did you go through the proper channels? Did you uh, go through the proper procedures? Because, well, that's definitely where you're going to need a lawyer to file. Uh, things like that properly to make sure that is part of court record. Well, and I told her that I would make that request. I mean, we just met and uh, we really haven't had a chance to 
go through any of this. Mr. Marvin, what's your thought? First of all, I just want to make it clear that the offer is still available to resolve this. Um, I do have a problem though with pulling Officer Hansen off the job as many times as we have. This has been, I'd say he spent at least four hours sitting here waiting for these and this but one adjournment after the next. And and this is why frauditors and soft tarts always complain about time resources being uh, wasted on prosecutions to begin with because of, well, stuff like that. But you know what? It's not the time or resources that the court is wasting on you guys. It's that you, sovereign citizens and frauditors, are the ones wasting the time and resources, gumming up the works, making sure nothing works properly. So you slow everything down just to make it look bad. Um, I don't know what a 30-day adjournment would do. I don't know for what reason. There's nothing that I could see that hasn't been explained. I don't know if it's going to do anybody any good. I think we're going to be back in the same boat. Well, we may. Yeah, I felt your plea offer was very generous. It was a good offer. She would only had six months probation after all of that and would have been cut loose. But she decided she wanted to go pro se and uh, drag this out on the fat risk factor that she would end up in jail instead of with just six months of probation. Um it would result essentially in no conviction. That's right. And it would take the driving charge away. Yes, and also I recently found out that that's been restored anyway. So part of my offer was um, get that restored and then I will, uh, there'll be a, a plea to a um, attempt to RNO and then that will be dismissed if if uh, there's smooth sailing for, I would ask for uh, about six months. But at any time before then, I plan on dismissing this. Um, Miss Keenan and I had a pretty animated discussion the first day, and then the second day it was much more subdued, and I encouraged her to get an attorney to help her. She has a profound misunderstanding of how Michigan law works, both in the criminal code and the traffic code. That Judge Milton is the understatement of the year. And for everybody else who's watching this video, just check out the link in the description to see just how bad it was. Um, I refer to these people as borough groves. Um, they're commonly referred to as sovereign citizens, but I don't find any sovereign in it. She certainly is a citizen. So Miss Keenan, I don't know enough about this. I wasn't there. You were there and you experienced what you experienced. Apparently there's video of it. Um, Mr. Marvin has offered for a plea and a deferral and a dismissal. I am pleased to hear you have your driver's license back. So I won't be dealing with that issue in the future, but you were allegedly suspended at the time of this. If you get convicted of the driving suspended charge, it's going to undo what you just did. It's going to take your license away. Uh, and Mr. Marvin's not really looking for that, but that could be the result of this. Especially if she goes pro se, because as the judge mentioned earlier, she has a profound misunderstanding of what Michigan law is and therefore will be at a distinct disadvantage when it comes to defending herself in the upcoming trial, should this actually go to trial. I mean, it would be, well, it would be over fairly quickly. Um, so, what more do you want, Ms. Keenan? Is this to be... Um brought on record what my asking of this man here in an email was. Yes, what are you asking for? I asked for a 30-day um, continuance so that I could put things together to defend my rights, to defend myself. 
um, not to excuse anything else, but to. Do you want Mr. Bush to represent you in this matter? I have been wanting okay. to, but uh, I want to be able to get to know him a little bit better because we did have a back-to-back -back magnet effect on some issues. Well, now, well, now, I would imagine so if you wanted to use all your sovereign sis and tactics in the case, which no self-respecting lawyer would do because they know that it is just going to lead to a bad road and overall some pretty terrible results on your behalf. I mean, any lawyer who wants to win would never do that. Well, and I envisioned that whoever got appointed to this would clash with you because you have and I can't tell whether the, these are sincerely held beliefs or just part of a contrary lifestyle whoever is providing you with this information as I said isn't doing you any favors and I'm not even sure the people that originated in fact, I doubt that the people that originally this stuff even believe it. It's so nonsensical. Yeah, nonsensical. That's really putting it mildly right there. Admiralty law and code of civil procedure and things that just didn't apply to this. But I do apologize. Officer Hansen's been here multiple times. Um, but if 30 days could help resolve this rather than bind this over to circuit court on a felony charge, maybe it's worth it. Let's see, Mr. Bush, when your next duty week is. Now, you can hire a lawyer if you wish, but I don't think you're going to be able to do that. You're not going to be able to pay anybody money to try to provide the defense that you want. Um, they just will decline to accept you as a client because they don't need that aggravation. In fact, I would be amazed if you could find somebody that you could hire that's a licensed attorney in the state of Michigan that would pursue the kind of defenses that you want. Plus, you don't have a lot of money, and so you're eligible for court appointed counsel anyway. But um, I would tell you to go hire your own lawyer. We aren't able to find one. And if I appoint someone other than Mr. Bush, you're going to have the same issues you have with him that you're having with Mr. Bush. I'm going to continue this for a prelim. How about if we set a pre-exam conference so we don't have to drag Officer Hansen in here? That's reasonable. If, if you just set it on my duty week for pre-exam. Well, the problem is your duty week isn't way until the end of September. I, I, I don't know that, Judge. Uh, you don't have another duty week till December 25th. Um, that's why I'm going about 30 days. Uh, I'll set a pre-exam conference for August 25th. I put it on August 15th. at 8 30. that way you don't need a subpoena don't need to drag deputy hansen in here if the matter is resolved we can deal with that if it isn't we can schedule a preliminary examination at that time so um we'll leave it at that um do you have any questions you want to ask at this time you're continuing it? Then? Yes, I am. I'm granted your 
All right, I'll just leave it at that. All right, you're free to go. Well, well, she ended up getting what she wanted, a continuance, but will it help her out in the end? Probably not. I'm sure she won't have a lawyer for very long. She'll probably do like every other soft heart and uh, dump them at the first opportunity, and then she'll go pro se. I mean, but that is her right. She doesn't have to have a lawyer. But you know what they say. A person who represents themselves in a court of law has a fool for a client. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.